Character set used in Oracle. Before discussing character set used in Oracle, we have to understand what a character set is. A character set is the set of all characters included in that character set that can be used in a database. For example, the character set US7 as ASCII supports English alphabets A, B, C, etc. and numbers like 1, 2, 3, etc. So when the default character set in Oracle is set to US7 ASCII, it means that Oracle database can use characters like A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, etc. to store data in tables and to store table names and source code in procedures, stored procedures. However, it cannot store characters used in Chinese, Japanese and a lot of other languages. So if you are an Oracle DBA in China, you cannot use the US7 ASCII character set. This is where Another more popular character set comes into picture. It is called UTF-8. UTF-8 supports characters in a vast number of languages including Chinese and Japanese. Oracle implements the UTF character set as Unicode AL32 UTF-8. For new versions of Oracle, such as version 12C onwards, the default character set is Unicode AL, AL32 UTF-8. For older versions of Oracle, the default character set was US7 ASCII. To find out the default character set used in your Oracle database, simply type the following. Select star from NLS underscore database underscore parameters where parameter equal to NLS underscore character set and you will see the character set used for the database. If you have the database character set set to something other than Unicode AL32 UTF-8 you can still store Unicode data in the database using nchar, nvarchar, nclob, etc. However, Oracle recommends using char, varchar, varchar2, and clob data types in an AL32 UTF-8 database to store Unico Unicode data. Um, the use of nchar, nvarchar, and nclob should be considered only if you must use a database character set that is not set to AL32 UTF-8. Once set, the changing of a character set in Oracle is very expensive. Before changing character sets, you have to consider the issues involved. The issues are 1 data truncation because of multi-byte character size of the new character set. Number two, make sure the new character set is a superset of the old one. Number three, make sure NLS underscore lang on the, con on the client is set to the client's language territory and character set settings and not the database character set settings. So when data is sent from the client to the database, Oracle can do the proper conversion. There are three steps involved when converting, converting character set in Oracle. Number one, identify the issues that can happen to the data while conversion. Two, do the cleansing of data to prepare it for conversion. And number three, perform the actual migration. The actual migration is done in different ways depending on the version of Oracle.
from Oracle version 12c onwards, there are two ways to change the character set in Oracle. One, export and import the data. Number two, use the data migration assistant for Unicode. That's also called the DMU. For Oracle versions 10G and 11G, there are two ways to change the character set in Oracle. Number one, export and import the data. Number two, use the CS Alter script. For Oracle versions 8i and 9i, there are two ways to change the character set in Oracle. Uh, the first is export and import the data and the second is use the SQL command alter database character set. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video.